So myself and Nikki Ryan, who works with me, decided to um, write a piece that would be appropriate for the Celts. So we came up with the piece, The March of the Celts, and spent a few days arranging it and sent it away. And they accepted it. And then we were commissioned to write all the music for the Celts. For the signature tune, I was looking for something that was both catchy and original and different to everything else I'd written for the Celts. And um, I'd been working with the piano and the synthesizer. And it happened in the synthesizer that I got this riff. Um, it went sort of bum, 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 you know, this type. And uh, I got excited about it. and. Then I started writing the right hand melody and it just from there on worked for me really. There's a piece I wrote called Jeruanthua, which means the end of the tribe, the end of an clan. And when I was reading about the Celts, I was reading about their beliefs in, in a lot of things like the magic of the sun, and the magic of the moon, and um, the actual piece, the words in it are like she, she and yala, malts and the it means the magic of the moon, stay with us. And um, it ends off saying that all these beliefs in the magic is sort of dying.
I wrote a piece of music called To Go Beyond. And it appealed to me because we wrote the middle section in a very classical feel. And it was um, very different to the music we were writing for the Celts. And we combined the two sounds together. And the first section is a very slow, sad moving piece. And then it goes into a very classical piece, which is played on violin. And it's used in the program to illustrate the artwork of the Celts. a lot of freedom with the music and I didn't have to work to picture so in that way we had a lot of freedom to um, experiment with ideas with vocals and synthesizers and it worked very well I think I was asked to write a piece of music for a pre-Raphaelite sketch and it's called the portrait and I thought it'd be nice seeing my first love is for piano to um, write it on piano and leave out as much synthesizer as possible. And it's a very simple piece. It ended up a very simple piece for piano. I was asked to write a piece, piece of music to illustrate the future of the Celts and to see, like, to imagine what the music would be like in the future. And um, Nikki, who works with me, came up with this idea this story where the Celts would leave this, this universe and actually go beyond, where they would go to the star called Aldebaran. And in the actual piece of music, um, I'm actually waking them all up. And the, the story is that they're all in hibernation for so many years and they're just waking up and they wake up on Aldebaran. <laughs> 